What's going on, everybody? The Coven Riggins here with Notice Studios. We're back inside Sound Design Central, and today we're going to look at routing your audio. And so, if you look here, I got quite a bit of audio. And when DaVinci Resolve 17 uh, updates came out, things kind of shifted. And I needed to figure out how to route my audio in the way that I was used to. But everything comes out as a bus now. And so trying to understand what to do can be challenging. But what you do when you want to route different things, and as you can see over here, I have a dialogue mix, a music, and FX mix. Um, and then I have a 7.1.2, a 5.1, and a stereo. So what you do is you go up to the Fairlight tab, you go to bus format. And kind of like the original way, you just kind of lay it out. So I have my Adobe Atmos set up here, 10 channels. Then I have my 5.1, six channels. Stereo, it's two channels. So these are my main outs. And you can export all of these together into one project, um, which we can talk about in another video. But here are what I would consider my auxiliary tracks um, or your bus tracks here what, what originally would be called bus tracks and so I have a dialogue a track that's mono I have a stereo track uh, for my music and then my sound effects I like to be able to put in my uh, surround mode um, depending on where I want to place specific sounds so once you get this set up click OK and just another thing while you're in there of course as you can see down at the bottom this is where you add your buses you can duplicate buses and you can remove them you know, depending on what you're clicking on and what you want to do and then you can color code it however you want as well so once you do that then you come back up into the Fairlight tab and you go to bus assign so you will see it look like this and this can confuse you um, because you have so many sins and outs and sins and outs and sins and outs and sins and outs. But what you want to do, if you want everything to line up the way you need it to, so all of my dialogue tracks, I put out of four, right? And so you can see, starting with OWG, all the way down to Who's the last one? Lucille. All of these tracks are my dialogue tracks, right? And so they're all on B4 out, right? So B4 dialogue out. My music sends. I have all my music on B5 out, not send. And the way you do that is you click on this track. And you can see I just added B5, B1, because right now I'm on B1 send. So when you click on it, it'll add whichever one that you're currently selected on. And then if you want to remove it, you just stay on that and you remove it, All right? So for my music, if I click on B5 music send, and then I click on it, it's not gonna do anything right because I'm on the out already now if I click on the out I can remove the out and I can replace it with the send if I wanted to send out of here through this but this is not the way that you uh, route it the way that you would route it is you would send it out of the music but then you come down over here to the music and then you route your music out of your main buses right which again I have B1 was my uh, Dolby Atmos, B2 was my 5.1, and B3 was my stereo. And so all I, do, all I did on these is I added all three of those outs to my dialogue, to my music, to my sound effects. And so now what I can do is I can come over here and add effects that I might want to add on to, let's say, my dialogue to give the whole mix of dialogue uh, a similar feel, I can add those effects there 
and it'll go over all my dialogue tracks. I don't have to go put it on each dialogue track. And then it routes right on out of my main outs and I can hear everything properly. So this is the way that you go about routing your, your buses, um, as they're called in DaVinci Resolve 17. Um, some of you, again, might have remember things called auxiliary tracks. Um, they're just all buses now, and this is how you do it. If you got any questions, uh, drop me a comment below. If you got any commentary, drop me a comment below. But like and subscribe, um, and click the bell so you know when we're putting out more videos. Hopefully this helps. Look to see y'all again later.